welcome back to Goonies Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and during the month of December I'm going to be posting four videos a week on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday at 7am. So if you love a recipe video like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you three of my favourite hot chocolate recipes. As I just mentioned, today I want to share with you three of my favourite hot chocolate recipes. So I realised that you can't really give hot chocolate as a gift, but I think offering a friend or relative a hot chocolate when they come to visit is a really lovely drink to offer. And on a cold winter's day, nothing beats the warm taste of a hot chocolate. I have made hot chocolate for friends and relatives before and they've always been really well received. So I thought I'd today I would share three of my favorites with you. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a cup of milk to the pan. I think in the original recipe I said to use full fat milk, but you can use a milk of your choice. And I'm using oatly today. This is an oat milk that has no, it's just literally oats and water. So there's no chemical nasties in that at all. Um, so that's why I like to use it. So I'm just using that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tablespoon of raw cacao powder. You could use cocoa powder if you wanted to. The reason I use raw cacao powder is literally it's because it's raw and it comes straight from the plant. So again there's no process to this, it's just off of the plant. And I'm just going to stir that round. I'm also going to put my pan onto a high heat as well. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of sugar as well. So Again, in the original recipe, I think I said to use honey, like a teaspoon or two of honey, but I actually, nowadays I actually prefer using coconut sugar to um, honey, especially when I cook it, because cooking honey tends to turn it more sugary, whereas when you cook with coconut sugar, it doesn't tend to affect it as much. So I much prefer using coconut sugar to cook with nowadays. So I'm just going to stir these round until everything sort of sinks into the mix, which it's started to now. So yeah, this is a lovely drink to have at night, but if you suffer with anxiety, it also might be quite nice to have during the day as well. Um, or if you suffer with stress, then this is a great one to have during the day. Lavender has a calming effect. As I mentioned in, my, in the beginning, it doesn't have a calming effect on everybody. So there will be some people who tend to get a bit excited on lavender, strangely. But most people, it tends to have a calming effect on them. Um, so it's great to have around the house and a diffuser as well. If you can get some essential oils and a diffuser, lavender is a great one to have around the house as well. Um, so yeah, so that is all uh, mixed in now. And what I'm going to do is I have three stalks of lavender. So in the recipe, I think I said two to four stalks, but I've picked three for some reason. Oh no, I've got four. It was, it was hiding from me. Um, and then I'm just going to put that in and I'm going to bring this to the boil now. So this has started to come to the boil now and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the heat down and I'm just going to leave it to simmer for about five minutes and that will hopefully infuse the chocolate with the lavender. So you'll get a really delicious flavour of lavender in the hot chocolate. My hot chocolate is done and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into the cup like so and if any stalks or any bits of the lavender fall off then just leave them in there if you want to. I mean you could strain it if you want to but I personally like to leave it in there um, because it just helps to infuse it while I'm drinking it as well um, and lavender is edible as well so please don't think that I'm going to poison myself on this stuff. So yes, that is my lavender hot chocolate done and I'm off to enjoy this now. The recipe 
I've put a small pan onto my hob and I'm going to add a cup of milk to that. Um, so I'm adding a cup of oat milk by Oatly. This isn't an advert for them, I just really like their drink. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour that into my saucepan. So obviously the more cups of, um, the more people that want this hot chocolate, the more cups you will add to the saucepan. So you might need a larger saucepan than I have here. Um, and then I'm going to add some sugar to that. I'm going to turn my hob on as well. So I'm going to turn this on to nine, like that. And then I'm going to add about a tablespoon of coconut sugar to this. Um, I'm using coconut sugar because I really enjoy the flavour of it. Um, but you could use brown sugar if you wanted to as well. Um, and then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of raw cacao powder as well. So oh, I'm going to add one, then two. If you can't get raw cacao powder, you can always use cocoa powder. Um, so I'm gonna keep stirring this now until all the chocolate disappears. So the chocolate has started to disappear. It hasn't gone completely, but it has started to melt into the milk in my pan. And the sugar has dissolved as well. I can't feel any of the sugar at the bottom of the pan. So now I'm going to add, um, about four mint leaves to this and I'm going to leave this to simmer so I'm just going to turn the heat down because it's going to start to boil in a minute and I'm going to leave this to simmer for about two to three minutes so it's like you're making a herbal tea if you've ever made herbal tea you'll know that you need to leave the bag in the cup when you've poured the hot water on for a good three to five minutes. I'm just gonna keep stirring this. All the chocolate has actually disappeared and it's feeling quite thick and creamy right now and it smells so good as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna continue to keep stirring this for a couple more minutes now. The smell of the mint is definitely coming through now. It's definitely infused the hot chocolate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a sieve like this. And I'm going to pour the chocolate, if I can, through the sieve. And then that is the hot chocolate done. In the process of making the hot chocolate, I'm going to pour some oat milk into a cup, like so. So I'm going to pour a cup's worth of oat milk in here. I don't splash it everywhere, like so. And I'm going to put that into my blender. And then to that, I'm going to add one large date. I think in the original recipe, I think I said this serves for two people. So if you wanted to, you could add two to four dates. I'm only using one today because this one is quite large. So I'm just gonna put that in as well. And then I'm going to add my sweet cinnamon in. And I think I have just about enough. So I'm going to do like a heap tablespoon of sweet cinnamon. If you're not a sweet cinnamon fan, then you could add ginger. I do have a recipe for a hot ginger hot chocolate on my blog. Um, or you could add mixed spice if you wanted to, or a mixture of spices if you prefer that. Um, again, I think I have another recipe on my blog for those as well. So yes, but I love sweet cinnamon, so I'm going to be adding sweet cinnamon to this today. And then I'm also going to add a tablespoon of raw cacao powder. If you haven't got raw cacao powder, then you can always use cocoa powder. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend these ingredients together. I've blended these ingredients until they are smooth. And I actually blended these twice as well. Um, I find that with my blender, it makes it really smooth and really creamy if you blend it round twice. If your blender is really good and you don't want to do that, then that's fine. But twice, as I said, I find it just makes it really smooth and creamy. And I'm gonna go to the hob now and I'm gonna heat this through. I've just got myself a small pan from my cupboard. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this pan onto a high heat on my hob. And I'm going to add in my hot chocolate or my cold chocolate 
Right now, I'm just going to put that into the base of the pan. And I'm going to get myself a wooden spoon and I'm going to stir this until it starts to warm up. Um, it smells really good. I can smell the chocolate already. Uh, you could also, if it's like a warm day in your country where you're living at Easter and you didn't want it hot, you could also have this as a cold chocolate drink as well. It's really nice warm or cold. Um, so it's great for winter or summer, this drink. Um, and it does smell so good. I can't... Oh God, I can't stop sniffing it. It's lovely. I'm really looking forward to it heating up as well. And also I wanted to say that the date kind of adds um, a little bit of thickness to the milk as well, makes it slightly thicker. So, um, so it's a definitely a thick creamy drink, whatever milk you use I think as well. So yes, now all I'm going to do is just heat this drink through. So the hot chocolate has started to come to the boil. You want it to sort of come to the boil but also sort of just turn it down and leave it to simmer if you don't want to pour it immediately. But yes, it's started to come to the boil now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty this into my cup, like so. Oh yeah. And then all I'm gonna do now is just sprinkle over the last of the ground sweet cinnamon on top. And I'll turn my like so, and I'll turn my hob off, and that is my hot chocolate. That was three of my favourite hot chocolate recipes, and those recipes I will link in the description box below for you. I hope that you and your friends and your relatives really enjoy these drinks. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.